Today I am doing another baby name video and this one is the second part to my European Royals one. Um, if you haven't seen that, that was up last week so go and check it out and I'll put a link in the description box. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to get on with this one. This one is all boys um, and I've chose 15 and they are in alphabetical order. So first one is Albert and Albert is a German name and it means noble, bright and famous. Two kings um, have both been named Albert um, by their parents in the UK but when they did ascend to the throne they both changed theirs. So that's why I put that one in because they've nev there's never been a King Albert in their own right but pe princes have Prince of Wales have been named Albert. Next we have Alexander and that is a Greek name meaning defender of men and I have put Alexander in for Alexander the Great, the famous Russian ruler. Next we have Arthur and Arthur is a Gaelic name meaning strong as a bear and the King Arthur um, had the Knights of the Round Table and he's very famous for that. Um, the round table was supposed to represent equality, that is what I got taught in school. He didn't have a, like, you know, a rectangle table and he sat at the top of it, meaning that he was the head. He instead had a circle one, so everyone was equal. And he has also had a Disney film made about it called The Sword and the Stone, so go and check that one out. Um... Just at the pop of my computer. Next, we have Christian, and Christian is a Latin name, and it means follower of Christ. Um, Prince Christian is the future king of Denmark. Then we have Charles, and Charles is a German name, and it means free man. And I put this one in because he is the next king of the country that I live in. Prince Charles of Wales is the future king of England. Then we have. Edward and that is an English name meaning guardian of prosperity and there have been eight Edwards um, but the Edward I've put in here is Edward V and he was the shortest reigning king of England. Then we have George and George is a Greek name meaning father, a I main farmer and George III is the longest reigning king of England, the long shame monarch was Victorian, then followed by Elizabeth II, but he is right after that. Then we have Henry, and Henry is a German name meaning home ruler, and it, other than Edward, it is the most popular name for kings to be called in England, and it is also quite a popular one for kings in France, I believe. Then we have James, and James is an English name meaning supplanter, and he was the first king who was both king of England and Scotland, so he was the first king of the United Kingdom. Then we have Louis, and Louis is a French name meaning famous warrior, and I put that one in because there have been 16 Louis who have been king of France. So it is a very popular royal name. Then we have Nicholas, and Nicholas means victory of the people, and it is a Greek name. And I put this in as um, Nicholas was the last Tsar of Russia, so the last king of Russia. Then we have Philippe, and Philippe is the French is a French name meaning lover of horses. Um, and in the in the U in Europe, Prince Philippe is the most recent monarch to ascend to the throne. So he's the most recent person to become a monarch in Europe. And it, when I recorded this video, it was less than 200 days that he's sat on the throne. Then we have Richard. And Richard is a German name meaning strong power. And Richard III was the last king to ever die on a battlefield. Um, so that is why I have put that one in. Then we have Stephen. And Stephen is a Greek name meaning crown and since 1066 that name has only ever been used once for a king and as far as I'm aware of on the website I was looking it did say that all the other kings have, there's have been at least two of them 
other but Stephen. There was only one. Then we have Wilhelm, and Wilhelm is my last one, and it is a German name meaning resolute protection. And I think it's a really good alternative for people who like William but do not like how popular it is. But yeah, and I put that in because that was the first name of the king of the the Kaiser, which is the equivalent to the king of the newly unified Germany. So I hope you've liked this video. Um, at those names, I think my favourite of those names has to be James. I really like that name. I think it is so cute and lovely and yeah. But what are yours? Is there any that I've maybe not put in that you know are royal names in Europe that you like? If Just let me know in the comments because I love hearing what other people's favourite names are. I just, I love interacting with people on the comments and I will see you on... Um, next week I do upload videos um, twice every week on a Tuesday and Saturday so please subscribe and I'll put them up and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.